Hey, what's up? Mike Mix here. When I'm not doing rap music and making beats, I'm hacking into routers. Yeah, that's my new gig here lately. I've been messing around with this Netgear R4500 that I picked up from Costco. The reason I'm even going to hack into it is because I tried to upgrade the firmware and it wouldn't let me. And this unit is somehow it's burned into the um, the uh, identifier into this this unit that it is a it's not a WNDR4500. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the identifier within the router so that you can do upgrades and basically it's going to turn this router into a WNDR4500 that you will be able to upgrade the firmware on. So hang in here with me and I will show you how to do it. First of all, go to myopenrouter.com and download the Netgear Telnet Enable Utility 1.0. I will put a link in the description so it makes it easy for you guys and you're going to want to download that. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Okay, and the next thing you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to click on this thing up here so I kind of have everything all, I've got a couple different tabs open. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go into your Windows settings, Windows settings, and you want to enable your Telnet client. Um, this is the instructions on Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it's the same on XP. It's going to be similar, but you're going to go into control panel, as you see there. Then you're going to click on programs, right there. And, and I know in Windows 7, right here it says turn windows features on off right so you want to click on that and then you're going to get this box here you can see right there telnet client what you're going to want to do is enable that so go ahead and click on that and then this box will pop up it'll it will take a few minutes um maybe about two minutes at the most and then it'll just finish so after you're done with that then what you're going to do is okay and so now what you're going to do is you're going to you see that file telnet enable exe you're going to want to drop it um in your c it's it's in a zip file or an rar file right now but what you're going to want to do is drop that into your c directory somewhere um, because what you're going to do now after this is you're going to open up a prompt you're going to open up like a dos prompt here all right, so you're just going to type CMD. Go to your start menu, hit CMD. Hopefully this is clear. Hold on. Sorry about that. Anyway, you're going to get this um, this uh, this pop-up here, you know, which is basically um, you're in uh, the DOS version here. You know, you're just, you dropped it to a C prompt. So what you're going to do, this is where you're going to want to put that Telnet enable EXE file. Right there. Not in user's mic, but it'll be something else. You know, whatever you're directories. You can always change the directory, whatever. But anyway, so you're going to type um, Telnet. Okay, so let me just show you. If I type this in right now, it's going to actually show you the format of what you need to key in here. Telnet enable. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to, okay, this is just to give you some information. So you have Telnet enable then you're going to hit space. You're going to hit your host IP. Now, I believe this is the same on all the the routers. I think it's just the default IP. I'm on like 99.9% .9 sure. I mean, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. You're going to enter 192.168.1.1. All right, that's going to be your host IP. Now your host Mac, you're going to basically, you can do a um, IP config and you can find out your Mac address, but I found it easier to go into the router settings um, you're going to have like a genie, you should have a genie down here for your, um, net gear. See that little genie thing right there? If I can focus in on that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's about the best I can get. You can go into that into your advanced settings and find your Mac address. And so that's what you're going to want to type secondly. So you're going to type, you're going to type the, um, Telnet enable, then that host IP I just gave you, 192.168.1.1. Then you're going to hit space, and then you're going to type in your host MAC. And I think, I read somewhere you're supposed to do that all in uppercase. If there's lowercase letters, just do them all in uppercase, which is what I did. And then the username and password that I use, and I found this online somewhere, so, and I, it was just kind of weird, but let me see if I can find it here for you guys. Let's see. 
It was, here it is. So this is the format. I'll show you right here. You're going to type something similar to that. Telnet enable dot exe, you're going to enter that 192.168.1.1. And you see that other string of numbers right there? That is your MAC address. That's not the one you're going to use, but that's the one you're going to get out of your router or in IP config. And then you're going to do space gear guy space gear dog. And I guess that's just the password in <laughs> in the router, which is uh, which is weird to me, but whatever. Uh, it worked for me. So uh, anyway, so once you do that, you're going to, if you do that successfully, it's going to drop you into a different prompt. And you'll know it won't just give you that. It won't give you this looking thing. It's going to give you like, I can't remember what it was. I don't want to do it again, but it was like a colon or something like that. It was a, I don't know if it was a colon or a period or something, but if you get that other prompt, then you are cool. And what you're going to type in after that is, let's see if I can find it. Hold on just a second. Actually, I'm going to back up just one second. Okay, um, you know how I told you to, you know, right after you enter the gear guy, gear dog, then what you're going to do is you're going to telnet, when you get on your prompt, you're going to type telnet, and then the 192.168.1.1. That should put you in. And then what you're gonna do is when you get that, that prompt I just talked about, the, the different prompt, that's when you should get the different prompt. Then you're gonna type in this, exactly. Burn board ID, and then this number right here. And that's an underscore right there, underscore Netgear. Okay, I'll put that in the description too, so if you wanna cut and paste it, you know, then go for it. Okay, and once you do that, restart your router, and then <clears throat> all should be good. Then what you can do is go back to your settings in your Genie and try to upgrade your firmware. It will identify your router as a WNDR4500. Right now as it is, it'll show your router as an R4500, but you really don't want that because it's, for some reason, it's like the cheap version and this is a version i got at costco and i bet you this is the only place where you can find it is at costco so anyway sorry that i skipped around a little bit on that last part but i think you guys should be able to understand it i'll try to put the description um information in the description and try to make it easier but um props out to um some websites out there that i found the instructions on um they used a little bit different programs i think so i was using windows 7 and um uh Anyway, it worked for me this way if you're using Windows and um, you don't know anything else but Windows. So anyway, hope that works for you. Um, do this at your own risk because you could void your warranty, you could brick your router, and I don't want to be responsible for that. And um, But you did buy it at Costco, so you should be able to take it back. I don't know what their return policy is on a nine, I don't know if it's 90 days. I know it is, I think on computers, 90 days. I don't know about routers. But um, anyway, do this at your own risk. So... Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please rate up, subscribe. Peace out.